welcome back to Linux Wednesdays, where we look at Linux tips and tricks on a Wednesday. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Lynx browser, which allows us to browse the internet using the Linux terminal. If we right click on our desktop and go open in terminal, let's make our terminal full screen and make the text a bit bigger, a bit easier to read. And to install the browser, we're going to do a sudo, which is super user do. Do an apt, which is advanced package tool, dash get, and install and links. We're going to press enter. It's going to ask us for our password, so insert your password, press enter. Now mine won't install because I've already got the newest version installed, but it'll ask you to continue, press yes, and it install the links browser. So we clear the screen, and to start our browser we're going to type in links. You see on the main page here it's got about links. Links is the fully featured World Wide Web browser for Unix, VMS and other platforms running cursor uh, cursor addressable character cell terminals or emulators that includes like a VT100 and so on. Press space for next page. Press space and you can read the next page. On the bottom here you've got arrow keys up and down to move, right to follow a link, left to go back, H for options, uh, help sorry, O for options, P for print, G for go, N for main screen, Q for quit. So if I press on go, it says URL to open. We're going to do it www.duckduckgo.com. Now you won't be seeing any text um, images. You're just going to see text on the website that you go to. So here we go, DuckDuckGo Lights. So I can press a down arrow. I can type in, say, Linux News. Press a down arrow and press Enter. You see there, it's gone down Linux News and I can use a down arrow. To go to a web page so we're going to do what's new at linux.org and press enter and press a for always for the cookie and it should take us to the linux.org uh, web page you're not going to see any any, any images it's just going to go out and see text and you can use up and down to scroll through your website and so on let's go to another website if we press on g for go we're going to do www.amynet net now if you've got an Amiga like I have I've got an Amiga 1200 what a brilliant machine that is yeah, I recommend going to Aminet because this is the place where you get all your files and so on and you can see through the page here we've got all the files down the bottom here description there are 21st uh, 2021 27th for the fifth that's probably when the last file was uploaded let's go down you can see there let's go down again Ami IRC the LHA this is an IRC client, I believe. A new, yeah, IRC client for um, the Amiga. And you've got next one down is MCE MOST LHA, which is an Amiga archive. And that is a um, multi game creator, and that's for PowerPC and Morpho OS. So we can go down, click on the README, press enter, and then we can do the README. New German catalog for AMI IRC. So who's made it, and so on. To go back, we're just going to press the left arrow. Let's go down again. Let's try this one here. PCEXHUME.LHA. Let's go there. We can read the README, what it's all about. And that's for 68K Amigas. And press Enter. It should take us to the README page. It says device to open. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let's just press OK. No, let's try the next one down then. There we go. Japanese pop billiard. Eight, ACH Japanese pop billiard. It tells you all about it, what it is there. And that was a quick look at the Lynx browser for uh, the Linux terminal. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do. Thumb it up if you don't like the video. The other button seems to work too. But oh, as always, Thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video.